Hey, what's up, Reefer? So I'm in Japan right now in uh, Osaka. So behind me is the Osaka Aquarium. This is a little bit different from what we regularly do. Regularly, I'll just show you my aquarium, but this time we have a huge one. And uh, since I'm on travel, I'll figure out just do a short video to show you guys what's in here. So let's go. Alright guys, here's the entrance to the Osaka Aquarium. So we have some eagle rays. Wait, isn't that mono? Isn't that brackish? Nurse sharks. Amphius. So on the 8th floor, we started off with a Japanese style rainforest. The centerpiece is definitely this Japanese giant salamander. Let's see this guy. See how huge that guy is. At first, we all thought it was a rock. Crazy. And on the wall here, we'll see freshwater crabs. Just kind of scaling this rock, making his way from the pond to the seventh level. We're on the eighth level. We're actually working our way down. Ooh. Sea otter. Huge guy. It's actually really big. Can we tell? It's about three feet in length. Bring some hair care. I'm not on your one. Brings a little massage. Hey, Leo. How's it going? So we're seeing the freshwater section of the Osaka Aquarium. I have to show you guys this. These are some huge paku right there. And look at those aeroplanes in the back. Oh, there he is. Whoa, <laughs> Hey, look at So that's the largest freshwater fish. Look at the beautiful red scale. How awesome is that? Full of red belly piranhas. But the highlight of this enclosure is definitely this guy right here. I actually looked into keeping this as a pet. But it's a little bit too demanding. How awesome is this guy though? But you're in an set. We're checking them out, they're checking us out. Wait, so it's cool. And bird penguins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty often though, the penguins are pretty messy. <laughs> Hi Reverse, we're getting to Marine. This is actually a giant isopod that you find at the bottom of the sea. It's super interesting because like we would find these in our reef tank as well. And these are guys that's attached to fish and <laughs> that we hate. And here are some. For scale, here's my hand. So there's two types. There's a giant one. And over there are those small ones. Really cool. Can't believe I'm actually seeing the live isopods here in the Osaka Aquarium. So we are looking at dolphins in the display. They're playing with that rope. Alright, 
right now we're talking. Looking at a uh, reef, at least the top of the reef. I believe as we keep going down, we'll see more of it. But here's the surface line. So if I go low enough, you kind of take a peek. Sorry, right, unicorn tank. So here's the unicorn tank. Hmm? Oh, look at this huge tank. This is how thick the aquarium glasses or acrylic is. That's what it takes. are not going to be good. So this rubber plastic seems to be a buffer for impact.
this is actually slightly odd. It's like fish in aquarium settings. Nice sea bay anemones, sea bay clowns, a bit of a tank. Where the tank leaves. Lots of green bubble tip anemones. Let's see what else I have. I think this section is more geared toward the kids. We have porcupine puffers right here. I mean, they're playing fun little music as well. And they hang crystals in the tank. All spotting porcupine fish. Right over here. You see seahorses. Okay, we got some of the more common fish, except for the Moorish Idol. I'm surprised they kept the Moorish Idol alive, actually. Wait, I think there's a replica of uh, Finding Nemo tank. Because we got the Moorish Idol, we got the Yellow tank, we have the Damsel, the World Grandma, and the Clownfish. And we have the chest. They just, I think just gave up, not even hiding under a rock or anything like that. Just half eating food. Alright, let's move on. This is definitely Finding Nemo inspired. We see hippo tang and uh, clownfish. And we got jellyfish here. Over there, we got my friend, Renee. And really strangely, there's a tank of freshwater fish here with live bearers. So yeah, I think this section is definitely more catered towards uh, aquarium. So in this tank, we have the most dangerous animal in the world. Yes. So this guy, these, this fish is from uh, deep water. It's pretty interesting because it actually looks really similar to uh, a scooter Lenny that we have. Except a lot larger. It's about six, uh, six inches. Light red in color. And you'll also notice the body shape and the high top of the first fin. And the mouth. Really cool. We're heading into the Arctic section. Oh, that's definitely colder here. <laughs> really weird creature.
So this is Osaka Aquarium's reef tank. Uh, a little bit underwhelming. We got some manipura, capcornis, sea cucumber, neo samurai. Hey, a bunch of meat corals, or open brains, some plates. Lots of sea cucumbers. Some SPS up top, green chromis, and that is pretty much it. Yeah, so that's all we got for coral. Unless there's like a, another level that we're gonna get. Grenade donating to the donating to the aquarium. Uh, oh, she's going for uh, she's going for the seal. Yeah. I think she's gonna get the eel. <laughs> or the octopus. We'll see what it is. It's a turtle. Turtle's good. Yeah man. It's flashing people. Yeah man. No, too bad. Let's, let's open it. Let's see. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh my gosh. It's hilarious. She, she's so mad she's just tossing no, it on the ground. Oh, it's so it's disappointing. Like, Kami, right? Oh, no. <laughs> That's cool. That was actually pretty well made. Oh. So I got one of these guys. Let's you check out. You show this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's check out that first set. So I actually bought something from here too, I'll use for the channel. So here we have sea otter, crab, whale shark, clownfish. And there's like a secret one, dolphin and secret one. Okay, so they're really crafty. There was a tiny gift shop upstairs right before the exit. I thought that was it. So I bought some stuff. But once I come downstairs, there's a huge one here. Apparently that's how, how they get you. You thought that's the only gift shop you got. You buy some things and then you come down here, there's all kinds of things here. Dang it, I may spend more money. Hi Reverse, so we just finished the tour at the Osaka Aquarium. It was nice. Uh, the scale is pretty big. Basically the entire aquarium is surrounded uh, around one major tank. And they have one whale shark that was uh, pretty impressive. Um, overall, uh, out of like five stars, I'll say it's about three, three and a half. It doesn't quite measure up to Monterey Bay Aquarium or even Georgia Aquarium, but I think it's definitely worth a visit if you're in Osaka. Uh, what's more, I got two little helpers that I bring home with me uh, for the channel. For any fish related stuff or coral reef related stuff, I'll use this well shot right here. Arr. For pest, we'll use this underwater giant isopod that everybody hates. Uh, you know these little guys that attach your fish on the outside. So I think anything with, uh, with pest, I'll use this guy as a presenter. So we got two mascots here. Hopefully you'll see them a little bit more in the channel in the future on my channel. With that said, we're gonna go on a cruise around Osaka Bay area and I'll check in with you guys later.